special factoring patterns. All right, before you have factored binomials, either by taking the greatest common factor or something that was a difference of two squares. With cubes, you could actually factor both the sum of two cubes and the difference of two cubes. So here's the pattern for sum of two cubes. And I do have a good way to remember the pattern for sum of two cubes. This is, this is the best I have. It is plus, minus, plus. That's all I got. And that's all you're going to need. I'll show you in the next example. Uh, difference of two cubes. All right, my trick is just remember minus, plus, plus. If you keep repeating that, you, you will remember it. Here is a diagram that illustrates the difference of two cubes. And here's a list of perfect cubes that you know, maybe you should memorize. So how do we get each cube? You know, you take an integer, you raise it to the third power. Uh, so, you know, 125, that just came from 5 times 5 times 5. And you remember from before that if you have a cube, and I hope you can do better than I have there. Oh, and it's like buffering. And if it's a cube, so that means that the volume is going to be 5 times 5 times 5 which is 125. So if you have 125, uh, let's say cubes, you can stack them into a cube. That's one thing that it tells me. Here's the first example. We're going to factor X to the third power plus eight. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is break down. I recognize that there's no such thing as a sum of two squares. There's no greatest common factor. So let me see if it's a cube. That should be my next thought. Is it a cube? And x to the third power, obviously that's something to the third power. And then eight is a perfect cube. So this tells me that we have a sum of two cubes. You know, a to the third power plus b to the third power. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say let a, so this part right here, equal x because I need to use the formula and let B equal two. And here is the formula that we're going to use to factor the sum of two cubes. All right, now here's my great and important trick. And that is to remember plus minus plus. All right, first I'm gonna erase this over here. And then I'm gonna, so I wrote two sets of parentheses, a smaller and a larger, you know, for a binomial and a trinomial. And I will put in the signs. Plus, minus, plus. And then I just go through the formula. So start with the binomial, you know, for A, I'm just gonna put X, because that's what we said earlier, we're gonna use. Uh, for B, that's 2, so I have x plus 2. Uh, moving on to the trinomial part, I need a squared, so that's just x squared. For next part is a times b. We already put the sign down, so we ignore the sign, and that would be x times 2 or more commonly, that would be 2x. And then finally, b squared would be 2 squared, which is 4. And that's it. We're done. That is the answer. So that trinomial is not factorable, at least not with, with rational numbers. And if you're, if you ever have an equation, that's a sum of cubes. A lot of times that trinomial you have to solve with the quadratic formula or completing the square. Uh, let's do a check. Let's check that this is indeed correct. So I'm going to first distribute the X, you know, with everything. So the X is going to get distributed. That's going to give me X to the third power minus two X squared plus 
for x. And then I have to distribute the 2. So we distribute the 2. So that's positive 2x squared. Uh, this one right here, 2 times negative 2x is negative 4x. And then the last one is plus 8. So take a look what happens here. The only thing remaining is x to the third power. Make, make sure it's a 3. Uh, this cancels out, that's 0. This cancels out, that's 0. And we have plus 8, which is what we started with. Checks off. Factor 343w to the third power minus 64. All right, because I'm seeing something to the third power in a binomial, my instinct is that I probably have a difference of two cubes here. And 343, you know, check a bunch of numbers. 5 to the third power, 6 to the third power, oh, 7 to the third power. That's what it is. So 7w in parentheses to the third power is the same as 343, w cubed. And then uh, 4 to the third power, 64. So confirms that I have a sum of two cubes. I'm going to let a equal 7w. I'm going to let b equals four, equal 4. And maybe just rewrite the formula. And But more importantly is my great trick to remember this, and that is minus plus plus. All right, you'll thank me later. And now we just put in all the terms. So for A, that's 7W. Uh, B, that's 4. A squared. All right, I need another. I'm going to try to use some color here. So I need something squared. And that something is 7W. Maybe I should color code it. Uh, a times B, so that would be 7W multiplied by 4. So that's this term here. And last, I have B squared. So that would be 4 squared. Let me just make this also a 4. And now it's just time to clean all this up. So 7w times 7w is, uh, that's 49w squared. 7w times 4 is 28w. And there it is cleaned up. So that is my final answer. And and just know, in, in these cases where you're factoring sum of two cubes and difference of two cubes, this right here is not going to be factorable.